Welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're kicking it here in CYOW. This one's a tip and trick. How to not lose FPS when we pop out a G1000 or other screen and put it on a separate monitor. So a lot of times it's nice to get your cockpit reference set up just the way you want it. Maybe it's more like this and it looks nice, makes it easy to line up with your screen. But of course, now we can't see our PFD. And with most of us, we've got second monitors or you've even got those really nice real sim gear, Avatech, you name it, G1000 bezels, which connect like an additional monitor. So it's real easy to get ourselves wanting to pop these screens out. And over a year ago, when they made changes for VR, we noticed massive frame hits. So when we look at our frames or our FPS, and so I've put it up here in the upper corner. So we're sitting here with 44, 45 frames. And what we want to be able to do is, of course, pop out that display by holding down the right alt key on the keyboard and then you see the little plus show up when it's on the screen and of course we pop it out now the moment we pop this out even though it's on the exact same screen or if we go and we move it to a screen that's connected to our graphics card as well so I've got uh, another screen. We'll go ahead and bring that on. So if I drag this over onto that screen, that way I can see my PFD on a separate screen. Now we're kind of stuck. We're frame locked effectively to 2997, 30 frames. So depending on what software I'm looking at, uh, I am basically locked now at this 30 frames. So here we are, we're off the ground. We are getting 29 frames. This is the bug, like we said, having it popped out. I can go ahead and have my nose on my big main screen and have this running on my separate popped out screen. However, it's a frame per second hit. It is a fact of life that we are living with. But wait, turns out there's a weird quirk that can solve this. If you happen to have onboard graphics. So this is running currently on my 2080. If we open up our display settings, you're gonna see that I've got my main 4K monitor, which is what the game is on. I've got my real sim gear GTN 750. I've got my homebrew, my homemade uh, GNS 530, which is the display that this is currently popped out on. But then I've got these two other displays. Those, however, are not connected to the 2080. Those are connected to my motherboard's integrated graphics. So I've got uh, an i7 9700K. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, 10700K, 10900K. There's lots out there that also have onboard graphics. So what we found out is if we use those monitors instead, we don't get an FPS hit. So on one of those monitors, the, the top one on the right, I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. Uh, that's currently where I've got SPAD next running. So now if we take this monitor, right, that we've got, we drag it over here. We still see that 29 frame per second hit. The moment we drag it over and we make it full screen over here, look at that. Our FPS just skyrocketed back up to 54 frames per second. So there you have it. That's literally it. You can get all of your FPS back. You can get it all back if you've got an integrated graphics card. 
I hope you like this tip and trick video on how to get your frames per second back using pop-out screens. For all those with home cockpits, this is going to blow your mind. Find those integrated display ports and HDMI ports and break them off because they will save that home cockpit experience. If you liked it, please smash that like button. If you haven't, go ahead and pop the subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.